Happy Sunday, everyone. This is No Edits Crypto, episode 162. Coming to you minutes before 4 p.m. EST. Uh, a couple stories here in the news and the market. For actually, uh, two, well, one and a half, I guess. The first story is uh, about, uh, it's now been a year since the first uh, Bitcoin cash block was uh, created. Um, so they had a party last week in London where they had all sorts of uh, different stuff going on. Um, let's see, circus meets gypsy themed t t party is what is how it was reported. Uh, pretty, pretty uh, different type of party. Acrobats, samurai, dwarves. Uh, Gambling pioneer uh, turned cryptocurrency advocate Calvin Air Boom. This is a great moment in the history of money. Um, so all the Bitcoin Cash advocates were there, and they also had a samurai uh, new unveiling of a little Bitcoin Cash logo said they're going to be using now, um, which uh, has a samurai sword slicing through the uh, Bitcoin, uh, the cash part of the Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin Cash logo. So uh, basically, uh, reiterating on their behalf and declaring that Bitcoin Cash is the real Bitcoin in their opinion. So um, interesting story. So it's been a year now, and then also uh, Dish Network, one of the most, one of the first and uh, major firms to accept accept Bitcoin as a payment method, has announced now it's also accepting Bitcoin Cash. The support for a second cryptocurrency comes a full, four, a full four years after the U.S.-based subscription TV provider first decided to accept Bitcoin in 2014. This is via uh, CoinDesk and Christine Kim. At the time, it was the world's largest firm to accept Bitcoin for its services, boasting 14 million subscribers. Uh, Dish customers can now use uh, each of the cryptocurrencies to pay for uh, monthly subscriptions and peer uh, and pay-per-view movie. So, um, a lot of news for Bitcoin Cash in the last week with their anniversary, and then this is another addition to their, um, uh, you know, another addition to uh, good news for them. Second story, or whatever you want to call it, I guess, there's two kind of Bitcoin Cash stories in the news there, I guess this would be number three, is a tweet that Charlie Lee put out and I thought it was kind of cool that he was, uh, this is five hours ago, so th today, Sunday here, um, about how the Lightning Network with atomic swaps makes Litecoin effectively Bitcoin sidechain, but with much better security via decentralized uh, proof of work uh, mining compared to federated merge mining of regular sidechains. So basically reiterating its uh, value as on Lightning with, um, with Bitcoin. Uh, value can move across chains seamlessly to take advantage of, light, of Litecoin's faster, cheaper on-chain uh, transactions. So uh, Charlie Lee, uh, always been a big proponent and uh, worked very hard to get Lightning Network uh, to work, uh, you know, as as basically the side chain of Bitcoin and work seamlessly with it. So uh, still boasting about how how big this is for Litecoin, and um, I just don't think people realize how big it really is yet. And he's just uh, you know obviously getting out there and doing a little bit of publicity for his project, of which I'm a big supporter. Uh, into the uh, market, Bitcoin's down 0.87 percent today at $6,354. Ethereum down 0.71 percent at 322.11. Uh, Bitcoin Cash up 0.21 percent, $573.38. EOS down 3.6 percent, $5.02. Litecoin up 1.83 percent, $59.76. Monero down 2.26 percent, $94.42. Dash down. 0.91%, six, $167.72. Ethereum Classic down 2.31%, $13.22. Ethereum Classic has had a pretty rough uh, couple weeks now since it's been added to Coinbase. It hasn't uh, 
and it, it hasn't seen too too many good days so far. Uh, Neo down 3.15%, $18.57, and Steam down 1.16% at nine at uh, 96 cents. So most things moving pretty much sideways today in the market, and Bitcoin uh, dominance up to. Uh, 50.51% and the market cap hasn't moved at all since yesterday. I think it's down less than a billion dollars. Uh, $216,163,000,000 to the second. So everyone enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'll see you tomorrow.